Hi everyone, this is Dave from the WebStorm team. If you want to speed up your coding in WebStorm, this is the video for you. Today, we're diving into the top WebStorm shortcuts and productivity tips that will change the way you code. These are the features that can take you from good to great. Let's go. First up, let's talk about navigation and look at some of the essential shortcuts to help you get around your project and the IDE. If there's just one thing you take away from the video, it should be search everywhere. Just hit shift twice and boom, you can search for files, classes, symbols, and even specific settings. For example, here's how I can enable soft wraps for the current file. Doing it this way really, really helps me avoid soft wrapping my hands around my mouse and throwing it across the room. So if you're hunting for something specific, like a legacy var in your code, use command shift F or control shift F to get to finding files. It lets you search across your entire project in seconds. Another useful shortcut for navigating files is command E and control E, which brings up a list of recent files and tool windows you've been working in. It's pretty much like your memory, but reliable. Next is another of my favorites, uh, want to check where a function or class is defined? Use Command B, Control B, or hold Control on Command and click on the code, and you'll be teleported straight to the function, class, or variable you're looking for. Okay, now we're able to find things, let's look at how to edit them. There are the usual actions you'd expect in a code editor, but with an IDE twist. For instance, there are a bunch of intention actions to help you quickly apply fixes and generate code. Whenever you see a squiggly line or a light bulb, you can use Alt Enter and you'll get a list of actions that are available in the current context. An awesome thing is when you use some of these actions, because it's an IDE, you get all the cool extras built in, like reactifying this HTML on paste. Similarly, it can generate this import. And you know what? You want to optimize the imports? Do it on save. And while you're at it, why not also run prettier? There's so many actions available in WebStorm, they can make them part of your workflow. And if you're in your own kind of flow when editing, find out what a function does, you just hit F1 or Control Q to bring up the quick docs with all the information you need. And speaking of actions, there are some useful actions available in the editor, like the Extend Selection action that lets you quickly expand the selected area without using the mouse. Use Alt Down or Shift, do Shift Control W to shrink it back. As you type in WebStorm, a code completion pop-up will appear. There are options like local AI powered code completion, post fix completion, and live templates too. The natural thing to do is press enter to select one of the suggestions offered. However, if you need to replace one suggestion with another, just press tab and a current element will be replaced. And if that's not enough, there are more ways to supercharge your code with completion. For instance, you can use post fix completion and hit tab. It auto completes a loop for you. Or if you use a live template to insert code snippets and seconds. It's like coding with cheat codes. And then for the code that is already written, you can make use of WebStorm's powerful refactoring. Select the code and press Control, Alt, Shift and T to access the list of available refactorings. Some great ones are available. Rename is probably the use most useful, but there are also ones like Extract Component, which does all the tedious work of moving the JSX, identifying the necessary props, putting in a call to a new component and all that jazz. And as a bonus, you can use the default shortcut for undoing things which we can revert it all back if you suddenly change your mind. Okay, so now we've covered the basics, let me share a few productivity boosters to take your WebStorm game to the next level. There are loads of ways to optimize the IDE to your specific workflow that you can look out for. WebStorm has a bunch of tool windows for various tasks. There's a structure tool window that'll show you React components and hooks along with the structure of the JSX. In fact, there are loads of ways you can set up the UI and tool windows for your daily work. If you prefer to use the UI, for instance, you can put the update button for Git within easy reach. There's much more available in the Git integration and customizing the IDE, but these are actually topics for another video. Okay, if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed with the UI though, you just need a little time to contemplate your code and life choices. You can always switch to Zen mode and become one with the code. Sometimes minimizing distraction is all you need to be productive. But okay, I know there's a lot to take in, like really a lot, but don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. There's one last thing that can help make life easier. You can install the Key Promoter X plugin. And then each time you use something that has a shortcut, it'll tell you what the shortcut is and the name of the action you used. I guess after a week or so, you'll have the shortcuts. And there you have it. There's seven minutes of tips to master WebStorm 
and code more efficiently. Remember all the shortcuts and actions work right out of the box from the moment you install WebStorm. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. And for deeper dives into all these features and more advanced guides, check out the links below. Thanks for watching and happy developing. Hmm, I still have some time to... <laughs>